Kumulan and Ablav Kimura, we are up to the Ayin Ches the last three words on the page. The Mishnah said that the size, <coughs> the quantity that you're not allowed to eat on Yom Kippur, at the Chai of Kuris, is Ha'oichel Kikaseves Hagasa, like somebody eats a large date. So it says the word Gasa, which actually means not an ordinary date, but a large one, and it says the date, including its pip. Says the Gemara, boy, a papa, a papa asks a question on top of Ein Tes Amar Aleph. Kikaisever she Amru. When we say in the Mishnah the size of a date, big garinosa, including its pip, I beloy garinosa, or not its including a pip. I the Mishnah clearly said, um, the uh, in, the Mishnah clearly said the, the pip. So Rashi learns, there's different ways to learn Pshat. And Rashi learns that the Mishnah is, the question is, does it mean, that how do you learn Pshat in the Mishnah? Maybe the Mishnah means, it gives you a choice, either the size of the date out the pip, or the size of the pip on its own. Page doesn't like that, because every then every single pip and every date is a different size. How in the world can you make an average? So Tejz is learning, he brings this Pshat, the Aruch Pshat, whether it means the... The, what do you call it? The way Tayser learns it, the question is, is it a full date, including the pip inside, plus another pip, or just a, a complete date together with a pip? The Aruch learns, maybe Gasa, we're looking for bigger. Because none of the has to do with Leisa Una, to do with what makes a person feel, you know, uncomfortable. The, or pretty comfortable. The third way, the Aruch is, do you squash, there's a, there's a little cavity between the pip and the fruit, like an ear pocket. Do you squash the fruit onto the pip itself so that you, if you remove that, eliminate that air pocket so it makes it, it compacts the date somewhat, or you just leave it the way it is intact? Says the Gemara, a similar question was asked by Ravashi. But Ravashi, Ravashi has a question. It says, Etzem kisa oida. When it comes to tumor by a shed, as we say, but you touch a complete bone, it's the size of a barley. Is it beklipasa, barley with the shell? I believe klipasa, barley without its shell. Uh, is it a moist barley, which is a bit bigger, or a bit more inflated, or a dry one, which is deflated, shrunk? So, so it seems each one's asking the same question, yet they're not asking the same question. So Yamar explains, in fact, each one believes that his question is limited only to his particular case, and the other person's question is not a question at all. Why not? So Ravashi, doesn't bother him about a papa with the kaseva as the date. Why not? It says in Mishnah, Gasa Itma. The Mishnah is trying to increase the size, saying it's not an ordinary date, it has to be a large date. So Kokama de Gasa, the larger the better it is, the greater it is. So it means including the pip. Now, this is a little bit difficult to understand according to Tasis, because uh, having the full date with another pip is even more gasa. Rapapa Lima boy is trying to look to increase the size. Yes. Rapapa, Rapapa, Lima boy, Lehad Ravashi. Why isn't a papa worried or concerned with Ravashi's question about a bone? Lacha, because if it's a moist bone, people generally would call it shibailis. It's called a shibailis instead of a barley. And shalabil kliposa. And if you're talking about over here that it's without the shell, then nobody, they don't call it barley. Ushlamik has a different name altogether because we call it a shayla barley, you're talking about with the peel and it's not moist. Now we have Machlekim, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Zvid. Rabbi Yehuda comes along and says, Kaysevis Hagasa. So, what exactly is the size of this Kaysevis, this date, and a large one? Sha'amru, Yeseida Mikabeya. So, we have a Kazayas, we have the size of an olive, we have an Beya, the size of an egg, which is practically double. And then we have we have the, the size of a Kaysevis Hagasa, which is even larger than that. No, so therefore we feel that this is not a question of a quantity of eating. This is something which is to remove the inisim, to remove this affliction. And in order to remove that, you need a bit more larger than an egg. The kimlu rabbanon, and the rabbanon therefore worked out, or they, they know, that that this is the amount that you need in order to feel calm. But if you eat less than this size of a kaseva, which is larger than an egg, it doesn't in any way mitigate your hunger and you're still are concerned. So therefore, that's where it comes from. Mesa, I'll ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So you argue that a chesebis is larger than a beya. Here you're looking for somebody who's being over for what amount do you punish? Yeah, of course. Right? Course. So what you're saying is, if you eat a small amount, then, then it, 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 it hasn't it hasn't done anything to him. It didn't remove it didn't remove your courage, didn't remove the nisim yet. The isim is nisim. Right. He didn't so remove the inisem. You have, you have, you have a small quantity. That's right. You're not, you're, 
that you're not liable for karis. So when I say question, Maise will have the story in Gemara Sukkah next. Maise, there's an incident. They brought him something to taste food to see what he thinks of it. They brought steak, they brought him two dates. They brought him a, they brought him a, a pail of water. And they both said, Tasting the food, technically, I don't have to do it in a sukkah. I'm not eating a meal, but I'll do it in a sukkah anyway. Eating these dates and a, and a cup of water, I don't have to do it in a sukkah, but to hell in the sukkah, bring them into the sukkah. But Tony Allah, the Braise, makes a comment. Not because the halacha is this way, but rather, they wanted to be machmer. And therefore, a lot of Therefore, they said, you know, we're taking a sukkah. And that's why Shalom actually brings that uh, it's a good thing to be machmed, even a cup of water, you shouldn't drink outside of sukkah, on sukkahs. When we learn sukkah, we'll talk more about all these things. Then it says in that same Mishnah, when they gave Rav Sadiq to eat bread, less than the size of an egg, the Rav Sadiq gave Rav Sadiq to eat bread, less than the size of an egg, he took three colors. He believed that you don't have to wash your hands unless it's the size of an egg. Not a kazai. Not lube map. So he didn't have to wash his hands at all. And, and so he didn't make a bracha. But yet he took it in a mappa because he was very either, like Tay says, he was a koi and he was careful, or because he was just very clean and fastidious. But achlu chutz le And the second thing is, he ate bread, but since it's less than an egg, he did not eat in the sukkah to show that the halacha, you don't have to, even though, you know, contrast that with the other ones, a cup of water and, 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 the, and a date they ate inside the sukkah. But he wanted to show that you don't have to have halacha sukkah, so he ate it outside. But like Beilach Achav didn't bench. Why didn't he bench? Because a mayor holds you have to bench after Kazais. But Rabbi Uda said, you don't bench unless it's a bayer. Anyway. What's the point of that? The only reason why he ate all these things outside the sukkah is Hoki Bey had it been a bayer, why you sukkah? Would you, you require a sukkah? So the if those two cases we said before, he ate they technically he ate outside of the sukkah, must be that two dates without a pip, because when you eat it, there's no pip there. Two dates without a pip is less than the size of an egg. That's why I mean, little said technically I don't have to eat, to eat the sukkah, but you know what? Let's be mach. Now. We're going to assume right now that two dates without a pip is no is no smaller than one date with a pip. So it's clear to me that a date with a pip is smaller than the size of an egg, not larger. You, Rabbi Huda says that a kaisvis is even larger, the kaisvis is even larger than a bay. You see, clearly for me it isn't. From Rapsodic's action, we can see clearly we're talking about something less than the size of an egg. And at this stage, we don't make a difference between bread or fruits. We think that everything is uniform. It's only a question of quantity, of volume. You say to me, if you're going to believe that water, Kesevis is larger than the size of an egg. They fed, they fed these Tanoim two dates. They fed these Tanoim two dates. Um, two dates without a pip. <clears throat> and will I have a Kebeya and you tell me it's less than the size of an egg? How do I know that? Because had it been the size of an egg, you'd have to go into the sukkah. Is Kesevis Hagas a single date? Okay, it's a larger one. Big Gadi Nasa, including its pit. Me have you say to me, it doesn't make sense to say that that's larger than an egg. And the going can answer right away. Who said? Maybe a date with a pit is larger. In fact, we're talking about a large service is larger than two without the pit. The pits are very large. Two dates without its pips. His taka is smaller than the size of an egg, and that's what our mission is talking about. That's what Agamil said, you can eat it outside of sukkah, which means, according to this answer, the Gemara, fruits have to be eaten in a sukkah. But the problem here was that it was less than the shear. But but a large date, including its pip, is how you say to me, Kibaya. So two things. First of all, it's a large pip, not an average pip, uh, an average date, because by the time it doesn't say we're large, it's such take cases. A large kaisevis, including his garina, his pip, is larger than two without an average date. So that's mm-hmm. answer number one. I'll take myself another job. A large one? Yeah, I'm saying. Including its pip. I'm saying, yes. yeah. Okay. <laughs> So now, according to this day in the Gemara, fruits require a sukkah. Pay the boy a sukkah. Amr Papa the Papa says, in fact, Hainu the Amr Inchi is a saying by people, and it's a saying by people in the vernacular. We know <coughs> that there's merit to it. That Kavi the Tamra, a kav, a measure of dates. Chad kavod the Kashyusa the 
that uh, you can have a, a, a kav of dates, two kavim of dates is equal to one kav of, 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 of dates that have their pit inside them, or uh, sorry, of pits, the sariach, plus there's even more. The kav of, of um, is even one kav of this kashiyos is larger than two kavim of just dates without. So therefore, yes, it's quite possible. Says the Gemara. Um, um, yeah. Um, where are we? Uh, Rabba says, uh, Rabba says, no, what he's saying here is that two kavin of dates, including the pips, equals to one kavin a bit of pips. So we see that the pips are larger than half the size of a date. So two coven of dates, including the pips, equal to one and a bit coven if you just had the pips on its own. So that means each pip is slightly larger than half the size of a date. So therefore, it's very possible that one large date, including its pip, is larger than two dates without. says, I disagree with the whole, your whole machshava, your whole mahalach. I believe, no, it doesn't do with volume. There, the reason why it's potter from the sukkah, and then when they say shtei kais, was what Gamil said, I don't have to eat in the sukkah. That's because it's smaller than a beya. It could be twice as large as a beya. It's behind time, you don't have lepeidi, because it's fruit. Upeidi le beya sukkah. Fruits don't require a sukkah. We'll, we'll talk about the Rishayim and all this machlekes when we get to sukkah. So, okay, so therefore we have a clear machlekes there between rubber and, and the and the, and the tarts and before, whether peidus require a sukkah or not. Take him a further, okay. So the Buddha maintains that a, 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 a date is a, is larger a kerseves hagasa in garinosa is larger than a than an egg. It's interesting the Quran uses the word flesh of the fruit. We have the translation using the meat of the fruit. Oh, it's in English. Yeah. Oh, I went for the two then. <laughs> Sorry, what do you want to say, Chai? Um, you don't say anything about Rabbi Yehuda and Zachai. We're not answering that. Why no, but see, there was only Toyim. We learned uh, we learned already that Toyim. We learned in Rabbachas. That if you're tasting food and you spit it out, you don't even have to make a bracha. So that's like a different get altogether. Oh, but that be Kishayinu lame him tight makes us another question. That be said, Kishayinu lame tight is a double loss of a shemoya. When we learn tight about double loss of a shemoya, a beautiful angel they brought before us to Ainim, they brought big van of my grapes for Halum Achilas Arai Chutzla Sukkot. It says we ate them Achilas Arai, a snack outside the Sukkot. It sounds like the only reason why they ate it outside the Sukkot because it was a snack. Had they eaten a bit more, they would have eaten inside the Sukkot. But the fruits, Rabbi just said that paid like by a Sukkot. We're talking about paid here. It seems Achilas Arai in Achilas Kevaloi. They only ate the fruits outside the Sukkot because it was a snack. Had it been more of a, of a meal, they would have eaten inside the sukkah. And you, Rabbi, said that fruits never require a sukkah. Says, Rabbi, I'll tell you what pshat here is. Not that they ate a, a snack. It's like eating a snack, because fruits, no matter how much you eat, is no different than a snack. Which is what? Puts the sukkah. Just like a snack of regular food. You don't have to eat inside the sukkah. Even bread, technically, less than a bay, you don't eat inside the sukkah, because it's a snack. Fruits, no matter how much you ate, has the same the halacha status as a snack. No right. But I still maintain that fruits don't require sugar also as well. He buys him another answer, how you shot and whatever he said, or how no we ate the fruits as a meal. And still we ate it outside of sukkah. You know why? Because we ate a piece of bread with it, but less than the size of an egg, and therefore we didn't know it to sukkah. Why weren't they machmen like the predecessors? Again, maybe just to show people well halachically you don't have to. It's only a, a minute or a chum. That's right. In fact, let's bring a raya to Rabbi that fruits don't require a sukkah. It says, when we had the machlek, is there how many meals you have to eat in the sukkah? And about there's a whole 14 meals you have to eat in the sukkah. We'll learn about the sukkah. And according to the chachamim, you don't have to eat 14 meals. The only time you chayv is the yom tev itself, the first two meals, the rest, if you have something, if you want to eat, you have to eat in the sukkah. There's no mitzvah to eat in the sukkah. But I bless the whole, you have to have 14. So we say over there, the fichah, therefore, um, if you made up your 14 sukkah, that you have to eat according to the blessing of sukkah. If you ate it with mini targima, we'll see in a minute what targima is. Normally, targima is something you eat with bread. Yotza, you are yot. Abisa, you're not the by sukkah. You can tell me that fruits. If you're going to follow the first mahalach of the Gemara, which is that what fruits require sukkah, at least they paid it. Let it just say fruits. 
let's just let's say fruits. You can be mashed them with fruit. If fruits require a sukkah, you can be make a bigger chiddush. Not only if I ate something that I normally eat with bread, but say bigger chiddush. If I ate fruits, I'm eating my fourteen meals. Is that raya? That what? That fruits are not are not chayiv in a sukkah, and if you cannot count it as your meals. So raya. Who told you the mina tagimim? Tagimim give me sweets. Maybe for sweets, mean fruits. My mina tagimim paid us. Mina tagimim means fruits itself, maybe. So there's no raya from here. But since the halacha like rubber fruits don't need a sukkah, then mina tagimim over here actually doesn't mean fruits. It means something else. The space is here. All the shayim use this to know whether on the you can be eating shal shudas with fruits or not. But it says the mina tagimim. Yeah. But so the gemara as to be doicher rubber says tagimim could be fruits. But since the halacha is like rubber, that paid us like by sukkah. So therefore tagimim means actually something else. Means or something else. Maybe the reason why it doesn't mention fruits is because it's talking about a place where the fruits were not available and not readily available. Anyway, that's the view of Rabbi Huda. Come along, Razvi disagrees. He says, I know that a Kaseba is in between a Kazayas and a Beya. It doesn't, it doesn't spell out precisely how much less or the contribution, how much larger, but it's a slightly smaller. If not, I'll prove it to you. Now we learn, Bishamay, I mean, Bishamay says, Oi, when it comes to yeast, because I is or sourdough is a kazayis, which is now soya, you use soya to make other to leaven other bread. But chametz is because service, chametz requires a larger amount. According to, according to Basil, it makes absolutely no difference. The first Mishnah Beya, no difference what it is, soya or chametz. Um, and if you have it in your house, you have it by your own. Masha and according to Bisham, is a difference or chametz. I've been about my time, Rishon. I mean, why should it be different for Sarah Chometz? So he says, yes. Nichtib, why is the Torah in both places? I Sarah and Sarah Chometz says, don't have it in the house. Nichtib, Rachman, or Chometz. If the Torah would have told us, don't have Chometz in the house. The late boy is Sarah. What do you tell me about Sarah? doesn't have the ability to make other things turn into leaven. And yet, also because I is, which is much worse, because not only itself is chametz, but also it causes others to become chametz, to rise and all that. Like Koshka, and surely you shouldn't have it in your house to size because I Why did they separate the two? And count them as two separate surim. Teach you that each year is different. So what is it? So oil because I is so oil is a kazayas. And uh, uh, what do you call it? It can't be less than a kazayas because eating, the Easter of eating is a kazayas. So therefore, obviously, Baliro can't be stricter than eating. So Baliro is also a kazayas. Big machlek is not raining, whether there's khatishir by Baliro. And like the Chacham said, so there isn't, because you need achshiva, you need to do a pu'ula to make a chashiva, and it's just sitting there, how you make a chashiva. Or it's only to do with things that you eat, and uh, like kol chayla, which we learn out, but not here. Others disagree with him totally, uh, based on the Rashi and Shabbos find all this. The chametz uh, bekesevus and chametz the size of kesevus, which obviously is larger. Now we're looking for the next size up from a kesevus. If a kesevus is larger than a beya, what's the next size up from a kesevus? A beya. So he should have said so. Oh, it is kebeya. These Hagadah gets the gas from me. Say, we can tell me that one of the large days is larger than an egg. Mechti Bisham, I ask you the Rosh because I come ahead. He's looking for the next size up from a Kazayis. Least the Kibay. He should have said, what's the what's the quantity that's forbidden for by a by a what do you call by um soy the size of an egg? Why does he jump up to Kaisevis? Unless a Kaisevis is the next size up from a Kazayis and smaller than a um than a bayer. Um. <clears throat> Um, if you want to say, and if you want to say that they're exactly the same, let's say an egg and a kesevus are exactly the same, what's the more common shear that we find throughout Shas? The size of an egg, like by Tuma and other things, we say the size of an egg. So the Gemara should have said the size of an egg. Bishama should have said, why Dafka does he item I highlight Kibbutz And a large family said, "Bochum beya must be chutz me beya." You must say that a date is smaller than a beya, and therefore that's why Bishama says kesevus. That's what we deny. So you know, that's not really. Don't we, don't we also link the shear of a, of a kebab because that's one to the other because one is double the other one half the other. Best that we don't just say that anywhere. We just know that. It doesn't say that anymore. How do you know? I can tell you. No, I can argue and tell you that a large day is larger than an egg. Host <clears throat> but an average date. Maybe it does remember Bishamay doesn't mention anything about Kesevas Agasa. He's just saying an ordinary. Our mission says Kesevas Agasa. So why can't you to be right? Kesevas Agasa is larger than an egg. And Shammai is talking about an ordinary Kesevas, and that is equal to an egg. And even if they're the same, and even if you want to argue that a larger uh, um, Kesevas is equal to the size of an egg, and what's your question? Why he mentioned Kesevas? He happened to mention Kesevas. Is that a kasha? 
because it's, it's, it's right, just because it's more common to say Be Beya doesn't prove anything because they just use the word Kesevus. The Chodim and I knock it, he just chose one of them. You can't bring that as a compelling raya. So you have no raya. Ela Malchus says, I'll bring another raya. That a Kesevus is smaller than an egg. A Kama Mazamnin, how much do you have to eat before you bench? Because I, the main holds you have to bench a minimum of Kesevus, which is the halacha, by the way. So one faces him, the most restraining. And Abu Rahim Abu says, Ad Kebe, the size of an egg. What's the argument? Now, most of the hold that their argument is only midrabban. You have to be full, to be sated before you can bench. It's only midrabban and when you bench. In fact, we had the more brachas of the of the chaf. And heim eichle es upon him. Heim the trader says the chal to the sorot of the achter. The heim the mach midrabat at kizayis at kibayin. So because the the heim midrabat kizayis at kibayin. Because they are in other words, the chumra only to do kizayis kibayin. Problem is that I would, that I would hold us mahatoida to eat a kazais, or if you ate a kazais, a beya, you have to bench. So what's the shot the gemara of the heim, the morach of a kazais, a beya, what's the halacha? So the pshat is, the chosefer says, the pshat is, if you remember, we had an early mother that when things were going well, that they were poor, they used to eat the size of a, an Egyptian uh, bean, and they fell full. In other words, what happens if you're full half the size of an, of an egg, or half the size of an olive? So l'chayda, you have to bench. But if the trader says you don't bench unless it's a kazais, they would force themselves to eat a kazais in order to bench my trader, not just with the rabbi. So anyway, so said, now why is the main hold of kazais? Why is it with the rabbi? The main is of a to do achila. Vachalta means eating. The savata of the rachta, the savata of the drinking. The achila be kazais and eating kazais. This is the halachi is like a mayor that the kazais, Shmaruch says, ideally, whoever leads the benching, the mezuman should be someone that not only ate but drank as well. Because you have to also say the chalta visavata uverach, and according to Rabbi Rameir, visavata doesn't mean how much you eat; it means you have to drink. So therefore, you have to drink something about wine or something. Rabbi Yehuda says no; it's a description. Rabbi Yehuda holds the chalta visavata achil is b'sviya. It has to be food, but how much do you eat? Enough to fill you. Therefore, you need an egg. The egg like a So an egg fills you, but you tell me you don't feel calm until you ate the size of a date, which is larger than an egg. How can that be? You're already zapped, you're already full, but you're excited when you're ready because I have babies. I got you say, look, you may large an egg. How should you be a smooth with that? The computer tells you that the size of an egg makes you full. Let me ask for and that let me ask for how can it be if you're full and yet you still feel hungry? Then you're not full. The last mom is that I, even though we learned more broke, is that when you're full, you shouldn't fill it to the top, you need to leave a third empty so you can't get angry. You have somewhere for the anger to, to settle. Maybe with miyas for daita, you need to get even more than that. But it's hard to say that. Eshmamela, kaseves hagasa sheomru pachus mikebeya must be that kaseves hagasa that we're talking about is less than the size of an egg. But kebeya misava kaseves miyas for daita. Based on this, the mikebeya egg has a whole interesting chakir and abiyuda. Which is the which is the trigger and which is the tonight the condition is the pshat mechalta you ate. That's why you have to bench. But how much do you have to eat? The condition is when you're full, all the way around. You're benching because you're full. But how did you become full? Through eating. Not if you feel, not through intravenous or some other method. It has to be through eating. is What happens is he talks about the case if a cotton ate, benched, which is only Rabbana, and then sometime within the hour, or 32 minutes, he became by mitzvah. You have to bench again. If it's the achila that triggers the chiv, no, because he ate at the time of the rabban. But if it's a severe, right now he's servato and he is, he is, uh, he's chayiv to bench, and he came through eating. Now, Chaim then talk about does the trader recognize the mice of eating that he ate while he was rabban and they go to town? But that's what he talks about. Anyway, Tanya Rebbe says, okay, um, maybe we'll stop here and continue tomorrow.